Good morning, guys. I hope we're all sparkly. Funnily enough, you should only go on TRT if you clinically need it, if you have a confirmed testosterone deficiency. Outside of that, you should be looking to optimise your lifestyle, your diet and your training to maximise your testosterone production. That means stress reduction, good sleep, avoiding excess booze, eating a good, clean, healthy diet and engaging in regular physical exercise. It doesn't have to be in the gym, but be physical. Remember, we are physical beings in a world full of psychological stress. So what should you do outside of that to maximise, optimise your testosterone levels? What you should not do is engage in a TRT booster protocol. They are 100% snake oil. Disappointingly, we get emails from people with alarming regularity that have tried this testosterone booster protocol, haven't felt the benefits, they've been switched over to 125 of Sustanom, haven't felt the benefits, and are a little bit frustrated. Funnily enough, they've been sold a lie. They've been sold a one-way road to testosterone replacement therapy because this testosterone booster protocol will lead to low testosterone. Why? Well, you have to understand pharmacokinetics, pharmacology, physiology, not have an MA in business studies. So what is this testosterone booster protocol? Well, it's a combination of Proviron, aka Mesterolone, Clomid, and DHEA. It'll get. So, Proviron. Proviron is a DHT derivative. Now, as we know, male androgens feed back to the hypothalamus and pituitary to tell the brain that you have enough testosterone. Whilst the primary hormone is estradiol. The other hormones, testosterone and DHT, also exert a negative feedback. So, using Proviron stroke Mesterolone will negatively impact the hypothalamus and pituitary, ergo lowering LH and FSH. Yes, but we're going to give you Clomid. Now, Clomid is used for male infertility because what it does do is it does stimulate the release of luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone from the pituitary to stimulate the testicles. Clomid is a rather peculiar drug. It has two isomers, one agonistic, one antagonistic to estradiol in the brain. Now you need estrogen in the brain. Estrogen is neuroprotective. You need the right amount. You also need it for libido and cognitive function. So it's kind of funny, sometimes guys on Clomid do have good numbers, but they don't feel the causative benefits of these good numbers because of this antagonistic, agonistic relationship in the brain. So use Clomid with caution. It's also a bit of a sledgehammer approach. So you can't safely titrate the dose according to effect. You're kind of given a dose and there you go. It's either worked or it hasn't worked. Now, if you are on TRT, you will understand how nuanced testosterone replacement therapy is. When we subscribe to gold standard microdosing, testosterone, cypionate and HCG, we fully counsel people with regards that there is a titration period and you don't always feel great before you feel better. However, we are always working to refine the protocol to optimise your levels so that they are perfect. What are perfect levels? Well, perfect levels are perfect levels for you. But you've got to concentrate on what? Lifestyle, diet and exercise to maximise the qualitative benefits of having healthy testosterone levels. Four, DHEA. DHEA is very rarely needed. Now, there is some evidence to suggest that it is anti-aging and it does have some health benefits but it's extremely rarely needed in testosterone deficiency. Honestly, it does worry me. Um, 
So only go on to TRT if you need TRT. Don't engage in these snake oil testosterone boosters as they are a one-way road to testosterone replacement therapy. And the company that subscribes to this methodology knows that. It is disgusting. It is unethical and I don't know, you know, you pays your money, you takes your choice. Now, if something sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. Now, I don't really want to give you testosterone replacement therapy. It's crazy. My business is testosterone replacement therapy. However, I am primarily a medical doctor that must act in the best interests of my patient. So I will only prescribe you testosterone replacement therapy if you clinically need testosterone replacement therapy, if it is in your best interests. There are lots of guys struggling out there because of the misassociation of TRT with anabolic steroids and abuse. It is very frustrating. What can we do about it? I don't think there's anything, there's anything we can do about it because these guys with high social media pro, um, profiles, they tell you what you want to hear. And we're all subject to mm, the little devil on the shoulder. If I just do this, or if I just do that, I can achieve this. As I said in my last video, you've got to train hard, work hard and rest well and fully appreciate the need for contrast in order to establish harmony. If something sounds too good to be true, it's too good to be true.